there, there's a contrast. I think that um, FDR was rather short-sighted when he said, I want to be remembered this way. Because I do believe that there is a teaching technique. The teacher in me comes out. But that those are memories. If I wasn't an American, if I was not a history teacher, if I was just walking down this road, this just looks like a gigantic tombstone with some smoke. And therefore, there is no memory being projected. And I think that I think that you have to honor him. I, I love that idea that I, I was a simple man, and, but I think he was being short-sighted because we will not remember him without knowing the great things that came with it. I think part of the power of this is exactly how understated it is, particularly in a city where there are, you know, there's Logan Circle. I mean, there are huge uh, statues, uh, you know, 15-foot tall statues of Civil War figures that people have totally forgotten. Here is someone whose who's place in 20th century history is immense, and there's a kind of disconnect between you know, the immensity of his contributions and the really plain nature of this. And, and to that extent, I think it does have some power, because it, there's so many statues around here that are so overly grandiose and kind of hit you in, fa in the face with the importance of what they're celebrating, and you think, not that important, you know, not that significant in the long run. Whereas this, I mean, if anything, I think Roosevelt's reputation has been burnished by historians over the year. And this is, you know, incredibly plain and understated. Um, well, and how would we not remember him? That's the other component of it. Time, is that there's, there's, time kills it. And then this one's it is, I think, with the Martin Luther King Memorial in that, you know, he talked during his life a lot about how he was a part of something. That, that, he was, that he was not the civil rights movement, but that he, that he was a part of a larger wave. And I think that that was an important statement um, in, for, in part because it in, indicates his humility, but also because I think it underlines the rightness of the civil rights movement, that it wasn't one person saying, okay, now the country's going in this direction, but you know, a large segment of the country that said this, this injustice has to be corrected. I'm not sure how comfortable King would have been to be singled out with a a statue of him covered with his quotes. Uh, on the other hand, you know, to not do something is sometimes sending a powerful message, as powerful a message as to do something. And to have the National Mall, which celebrates Lincoln and Washington and Grant and a lot of white, you know, elite political figures, and to not have part of the civil rights movement and the African American leaders who helped push it through, that's a conspicuous absence. You know, to not put anything is kind of an interesting, uh, that makes an interesting comment too.